Good day, dear learners and parents. Welcome to today's social studies class. I hope you are all doing fine. Our topic for today is moral values and rights. To start off, let's look at moral values. What is moral? And what is value? Moral means good. Value is something important that you believe in or something that you give worth to something that is very precious that you cherish it for example miss luango loves her bag because it was very expensive it cost me very expensive and with it i am able to put things when i leave the house i can carry it around without having the things in my hand therefore it is very important to me now that is what value is you may value other stuff like your parents your grandparents because they are of importance to you you may value your cat you may value your dog because they are important to you. You may value that very uh, big uh, car that dad bought you when you were four years old because it gives you memories and it's important to you. Now, that being a whole, moral values means good and right principles and standards of behavior that tell us how to act. If you view your mother and father as very important, moral values would be you respecting them. Respect is indeed a principle. It is a standard that you have and that you must give on to others because you value them. I love my parents and that's why I respect them. I will never disobey them because they are important to me. Let's look at rights. Rights are entitlement to have or do something. For example, you have a right to a name. You should have a name. You are born with that entitlement when somebody is born according to certain laws they have the right to a name you have a right to an education that right is given to you from the day you are born everyone should have an education it is an entitlement given to them it's a freedom that is protected, morally correct and just action. Your education is protected and ensured that you get an education or having an education is morally correct. And it's a very fair action. If Miss Luango has an education, this means that you should also have an education. Moral values and rights can only be protected if you also respect and promote the values and rights of other people. For example, you cannot say respect my right to an education, but you make noise in the class or disturb others from learning. For example, if Miss Luango is teaching and you make noise, you cannot say after the punishment that Miss Luango, it, it's my right to do this and that. Uh -uh. What about Miss Luango's rights? You are not respecting my rights, my rights to peace. Miss Luango must go home with a headache because you are making noise. So that being said, you are disrespecting my rights. It does not work like that. If I am to respect your right, you are also to respect my rights. 
and the only reason that will help you to respect my rights is if you have moral values. If you view Miss Luango as important, you will know that her health is important. She needs to be healthy to remain alive. So meaning if this person is important to you, you will not make noise that will lead to that person being unhealthy because she's important to you and you respect her. And by doing that, you are respecting her rights. As well as vice versa, if Miss Luango loves you and respects you and finds you valuable, then she is not going to sit in the class and look at her phone for the entire period because she, you are important to her. And she knows that you need an education. So she is going to teach you for that period. And where you don't understand and you ask a question, Miss Luango won't ignore you, but answer your question and guide you in the right path in knowledge. So everybody has the very exact same rights. My right to education is the same as your right to education. My right to respect, to be respected is the same right for you to respect and be respected. And we can only respect one another's rights if we have moral values. Moral values. Let's look at some of these moral values and see if you agree with each one. Be kind to others. Do not harm or hate others through physical violence or nasty words. You cannot call somebody stupid. And even if that person calls you stupid, you also don't have the right to beat that person. What do you do? You come to Miss Longo and you report. Share what you have. Avoid being greedy and selfish. If you see that one friend of yours, that did not even bring bread or does not have money for even one junkie, one fat cake, and you have five, what can you do? You can give that friend of yours one junkie. You won't die. In fact, you'll be a happier person because you are helping the friend of yours that did not bring anything. Be honest. Do not steal, rob, lie or cheat when you are writing a test write it alone don't ask friend, uh, help from your friends you are cheating and therefore you are not having any moral values look after the environment save water and electricity do not waste Pick up your litter and recycle it. When you finish eating the junkies, the plastic where the meme put the junkies where you bought from, do you throw it on the ground? If you do, you are not having any moral values. Because somebody with moral values will pick it up and put it in the dustbin. If you drink a bottle of Coke, today the empty bottle you can still use it to put water and keep it in the fridge or even to put dirty oil after you finish frying fish so you are recycling it never hate animals and birds promote gender equality Never be guilty of gender-based violence. Gender equality, meaning that men and women should be treated respectfully.
they should be you cannot hit a, a lady and a lady can also not hit a, a man you should treat it uh, treat each other fairly treat women and men and boys and girls with the same respect never sexually abuse another treat others in the same way you would like to be treated in the next classes uh, in the next classes when this whole pandemic is over miss luango will teach you the no touch zones the no touch zones in the chest and under i'll teach you as soon as the pandemic is over meaning that you cannot be touched in the no touch zones and you yourself can also not touch another person in the no touch zones but this will learn in the revision of this same topic once we get back to school you have to treat others the same way that you want to be treated if you don't want anybody to touch you in the no touch areas of your body you cannot touch another person at those areas as well if you want to be respected and love you should also respect and love other people i hope you enjoyed today's class looking forward to our next class